Uh, the Buffalo scene, of course, an absolute hotbed for talent right now. Absolutely. Daniel Garcia, 19 years old. Do you believe that? It's un unreal, Brad. This this kid fans, if this is your first chance getting a look at Daniel Garcia, he is beyond his years in the ring. Oh, oh my God! But Stu Grayson, unimpressed, not even letting this kid get his jacket off with a massive knee right to the jaw. Well, Daniel Garcia, under a year, he's been professional wrestling. Do you believe that? No. Like we said, Stu Grayson aligned with, with the Beast King and apparently now Vanessa Craven. I, I think we're both still looking for answers well, yeah. with this, but I mean. You know, Brad, you, you can't take anything away from the Beast King. He put a plan in motion, my God. A plan in motion to, to, to capture the Smash Wrestling Championship away from Tyson Deuce, something that no one had been able to do in over a year. And well, it's, he did it. Garcia. Fighting back this kid. But Stu Grayson, is, it's almost like the more, he, the more things hurt him, the more enraged he gets. Well, Stu Grayson, he is an absolute warrior. There's no doubt about it. And look at what he's doing here. Just dragging the face across the canvas. That is not a, a very good thing to happen to you. I mean, that canvas is, is going to burn you. Well, yeah, you can get Matt Burn and he's just dragging him, just grinding his face across the ring apron as well, Brad. And now oh. back first onto the ring apron. And, and Daniel Garcia, Brad, he is taking a beating oh, in the he, early onset of this matchup. He's in a world of hurt. I mean, this kid's got all the potential in the world. He's got all the skill in the world. But sometimes when you're in the ring against someone like Stu Grayson, potential and skill don't mean anything. Well, and that's just it, Brad. I mean, it's, it's a massive opportunity. No doubt this guy has butterflies in his stomach the size of eagles. And hang on here as Stu Grayson, just again, just relentless with the attack on Daniel Garcia. Garcia barely intelligently blocking. And now Stu Grayson admonishing the official for putting his hands on him. That's his job. But hang on, don't turn your back. Oh, oh. Garcia, open hand, palm strike, direct to the face. Oh, with the elbow from Grayson. Well, just when you think Daniel Garcia is starting to build momentum with a palm strike, he gets met with a back elbow, and that'll suck the, all the momentum right out of your sails. Yeah, it just cuts him right back down to size, and now Grayson once again going on the attack here. What's he setting up for now, Brad? Oh, stalling vertical suplex. With authority, planting Garcia into the mat. And now Grayson into the cover. Two and a kick out from Garcia. Brad, give this kid some credit. Uh, you have to. I mean, he's... Hang on, another cover here from Grayson, kick out. He's in the fight of his life right now, and he's not backing down. He's showing all kinds of heart. Well, and this, that's exactly the, the type of thing that Braxton Sutter teaches at, at his school, Brad, is, is that it's not all about the size of the dog in the fight, the size of the fight in the dog. And there's a case in point right here. Garcia still not just staying in this match, Brad, he's fighting back, creating some offense, but there's the beautiful drop kick there from Grayson, and again, cuts Garcia right back down. And it seems like the experience of Stu Grayson is just one step ahead of Daniel Garcia. It is, Brad, it's the one thing in this business you cannot teach is experience. As Stu now. Snapmare takeover. And Grayson just, just be enjoying this, Brad. Oh, God! What do you mean, seems to be? You know as well as I do, there's a, there, you're damn sure he's enjoying it. It's just like a, like a dog playing with a chew toy in the ring right now. And now, asking the city of London if that's all they've got, if this is the best that we can send his way. But look at, look at the look in the eye of Garcia here, Brad. Garcia is showing. He's still getting back to his feet. Oh, and there's a chop there from Grayson. And Stu Grayson's got to, he's got to be questioning, how the hell am I going to beat this kid? If he's showing this much heart and this much oh, attitude. Oh, clothesline into the corner. But Brad, if it, this match keeps going the way it is. Hang on a second, is Garcia able to get out of the way and now shoulder first goes Grayson into that ring post. I was going to say if this match keeps going the way it is, it's, it's only a matter of time, but that might be the opening Garcia needs. Well, Stu, he's a little shaken here, and Garcia just Good. trying to, to gain his wherewithal here. Yeah, he's got to stay on him. Ducks the clothesline there, nice forearm shot there of his own here. Repeated strikes here from Garcia. And for a butterfly suplex, whoa! Nice reversal there from Grayson, oh, and a pump kick! 
right on the money. Wow! Beautiful suplex there from Garcia, launching Grayson across the ring. And look at this kid, Brad. And Garcia, he's making a fan of me. Could be looking for gotch style pile driver here. And again, nice reversal. There's the athleticism of Grayson. No, oh, missing with the needle. Oh, oh, shotgun drop kick. Sends Grayson flying into the turnbuckle. Johnny Wu, eat your heart out. Daniel Garcia instantly making a name for himself here tonight in London, Brent. Well, Garcia has absolutely nothing to lose here and everything to gain. Could be looking Liger Bomb. Nails hit, this could this do it. it. He's gonna do gonna it. it. Oh, oh, how close was that, Brent? That was insanely close. Daniel Garcia almost just had the biggest upset of his career here. And it's just getting started here. As you said, Brad, just not even a year into professional wrestling, already making his Smash Wrestling debut. This guy's got all the potential in the world. Daniel Garcia stalking Stu Grayson. Needs to stay on top of him here, though, Scott. Yeah, Brad, he's, he's trying to measure him for something here, but I, I agree with you. He's got to stay on top of Stu Grayson. Big nice back elbow. elbow. Sets him up for another one. The Red Death, Daniel Garcia firing up. Oh! Oh! And that knee might have just knocked him out, Brad. He's out, look at him. His body just crumpled. <laughs> now, Grayson. Just grabbing him by the throat. That is, that's the limp body of Garcia here. And now Grayson set up for the Bane Breaker. This is just, this part, it's not even necessary. This kid's out. Breaker connecting. Good night, Daniel yeah. Garcia. That is all she wrote. Stu Grayson. Right, give the kids a credit. Daniel Garcia was was very game here tonight, but in the end, it was the experience of Stu Grayson paying off. Well, that's just the thing, Daniel Garcia. Like we said, he's still young in this business. He had a hell of a fight against Stu Grayson, but at some point, experience is gonna take over.